Hey guys, I just wanted to quickly go through what I've done to my SV to make it a more sport touring friendly motorcycle. But understand by no means you have to really do anything to a stock bike. I uh, completely encourage you to get out on the road and travel and see as much as you can. But there are several things you can do to make it a more comfortable and efficient experience. And as always, if you're more comfortable, you're gonna be more safe. So let's just jump into this right away. Now, if I had to pick one thing to do to a new motorcycle, I would definitely get a windshield. Uh, if you've ridden for long periods of time, you know the wind really beats you up at night and really tires you out. So the first thing I would get would definitely be a windshield. I've also upgraded the headlight on this motorcycle. Most uh, stock bikes, the headlight is pretty underwhelming and it's hell when you're stuck you know, in the woods at night or a state park and all the critters are running back and forth in front of you. So a halogen light will be 10 times better and uh, you'll really be able to see a lot more. So let's move to the handlebars up here. Uh, I've added heated grips on this bike. Really helps in the cool mornings, high altitudes, and shoulder months. Highly recommend that. And uh, wind guards, same thing, helps you with the cool weather. And if you're just run, uh, riding quickly through a storm cloud or a light rain, it'll help keep your hands dry for a while. You're probably going to want a GPS or, or hold your phone, so RAM mounts are a popular hardware and work very well. And then also they make a lot of different clip-on cruise controls but for me I use this cramp buster, a little five dollar piece of plastic. You lay your palm on here and it really relaxes your hand and you won't get cramped up riding you know a 400-500 plus day. It really comes in handy so I really enjoy this, it really helps out. Now I'm horrible at chain maintenance on the road, uh, monitoring it and lubing it up. So this year I've actually added this chain oiler and people are reporting 30,000 miles out of their drive chain. They're saying their chains are good. Their sprockets are actually going bad before their chain. So this year I'm hoping to not have to worry as much about chain maintenance. And the basic concept is you just pretty much oil up your chain uh, every, every time you go change your gas you add some oil to it as you're driving in. So we'll see how that works for me, but I've heard great things. Uh, this year I've also added chain cra or excuse me, uh, engine crash bars. Uh, I'm going on a lot of remote dirt and gravel roads up in Alaska, so uh, the idea of dropping the bike and cracking my radiator in the middle of nowhere doesn't sound very fun, so I think it's relatively cheap insurance uh, to pr protect the engine and the radiator. So another thing people do, if you're cramped up on your seat and your legs are giving you problems, you can actually lower your foot pegs. You can buy aftermarket pegs and they'll lower, uh, lower it several inches. Me, I haven't found the need to do that, but those options are out there if you're having trouble uh, with cramps in your legs. Same thing goes for the seat. Uh, the seat on this bike isn't the best, but I haven't found the need to add any cushioning or an aftermarket seat. so. But if you are having problems, your options are pretty much an air pad, some kind of pad is the cheap option, and a more expensive option would be replacing the seat entirely with a gel seat. But those options are out there if you need them. Next, you're gonna wanna have a way to keep all your gear with you, especially if you're camping. So uh, the hardware and the hard bags, it's an expensive upgrade. You don't have to do it right away. I started out with just a Walmart duffel bag full of you know trash bag linings when I started out but over time I've added items and to be able to just throw all your stuff in the hard bags right away when you're tearing down camp uh, really really helps out in the morning gets you back on the road and then if you're carrying a lot of gear I, th I throw a Wolfman on the back dry bag Wolfman makes great uh, products for motorcycle storage and luggage and I also have one of their tank bags up here which I think you should have if you're touring because if you want to hold you know your wallet, loose items, maybe your phone's in there uh, for quick and easy access, I throw a snack in there so you don't have to rip into all your stuff you have packed nicely in the back. Now, most sport bikes, they're not going to have you know built-in USB or cigarette jacks, 12 volts on it. So one option is to put it on the, the handlebars, the chargers, but Every time I've done that, it dies. <laughs> I get it wet or they just fry. So what I've done 
with a relay system, I've added USB chargers underneath the seat and a 12 volt cigarette jack as well. I keep it under the seat, then I just run long USB cables up to the front of the handlebars or into the tank bag uh, for whatever I'm charging. At the night, I roll it all up. If it rains, it stays dry, and I found that has worked the best for me. That has really helped out. So, this is what I've done. It's helped out a lot. So, if you guys have some suggestions to make a more comfortable ride, let me know. I'm definitely be interested. And if this video helped you in any way, gave you some ideas, give me a like and subscribe and uh, let me know what else I can be doing. So th thanks, guys. Thanks for watching and ride safe out there.